my job as organizer and overseer and, and kind of working with a, a large audio team to make sure everything was uh, up to Mass Effect quality. We did a weapons recording shoot in LA for two weeks. We recorded the sounds of automatic weapons, handguns and shotguns and all the different types of weapons you, you have. Recorded them in fields, canyons, interiors like warehouses, and small interior spaces just to capture the sound of what a ballistic weapon would sound like. It's kind of a hybrid between pew pew and, and real gun. If you go into different areas of the game, if you walk through different areas, like through a canyon versus field versus dense forest area or an interior, we're actually switching content out. We even put rattle, grab a gun and shake it, it obviously makes a rattle, so we even have a layer of that in there as if you're firing the gun. We got to record real whiz -bys. We were sitting behind a ridge and there was an actual person shooting bullets over our head. It was safe because they were professional shooters, so we had the microphone set up and we were sitting tucked beneath this ridge so we wouldn't, you know, no, we wouldn't get hit. But their bullets were flying over, we were capturing the sound, and then like dirt would fall on our heads. We actually use those in the game. It's literally the sound of death, which is, it's the scariest sound, because it's like, oh my god. <laughs> the powers are, I've worked on every single Mass Effect franchise. If you listen to Mass 1, 2, and 3, they slightly change. Andromeda, they're, they're even more polished. It's always been this kind of weird liquidy synth sound is what we kind of call it. We use a lot of reference. I don't know if you've ever heard drum and bass, like the bass lines. And in this game, we've taken it further. Like if you throw a singularity, if you walk close to that singularity, we actually affect all the games and the sound in the game and it becomes washy and it sounds underwatery and like as if like space and time are like collapsing it in. A lot of synthesis and a lot of modular synthesis. We've been doing a lot of that lately. You basically have this giant synth rack. You use patch cords to move sounds around it. You get a lot more unique sound out of it than just say your traditional synth or software synth. Langara and the cat are the main ones that we process as well as like Sam. We start by taking pictures, like what the artists have drawn early on. It's a lot of like just processing stuff, like uh, adding flange or, or reverb or, or weird stuff to the voice to, to, to make it sound uh, different. For the remnants, use a lot of wavetable synthesis. One of the sound designers used his voice, put it through a synthesizer, and then we manipulated that. The cat are more just processed human, pitched down and, and kind of phased out. Some of the bigger creatures that you'll see in the in the wild, they're they're made up of lions and, and different animals. For the vault stuff, I have this mic that it can record the electrostatic of computers or moving parts and stuff. I got each sound designer to kind of take it home and kind of record like vacuums or like different stuff around their house to capture the electronic sounds. And then what we do is bring that back and we can process that. And then we'll use those in, in like some of the ambience for the for the vaults. We tried to get the music to just kind of blend, come in and out of the sound design. So you can't really tell, just all mixes into each other. For this game, a lot of the vehicles are synthesis as well. So anytime there's like a ship in atmosphere, we'll have a bass sound that we've kind of created with probably synths, and then we'll throw in like on top of it, a noise layer of uh, like an F-18. In the Nomad, is the sound designer that created it, it was he wanted it to feel very sci-fi, right? He built an engine system that works kind of like a traditional engine, and then put in synthetic sounds to, to work with that. So it still feels like a vehicle. The boosters and stuff might have like cannons and stuff in it. Also like when ships come out of hyperspace, hyperdrive, that's all like cannons. You always get that quick transient kind of pop and then it kind of falls off into, into darkness. Our source library for the whole thing was 670 gigabytes. You're designing these sounds like it's new, right? So it's kind of, that's the probably the best part, making these new sounds that nobody's really heard come alive in a game.